They said that I like say that I'm pan and I'm not really pan, and I say it for like followers or something. Hey, hey, yeah, I know they always talk about us. Haters out here really doing too much. Talk too much, online too much. Hey, it's Danielle here, back with another video, and today I'm gonna talk to you guys, but I also have like these like dumplings that I'm gonna cook. So while I do that, I'm gonna talk to you guys. Let me put you guys right there. I got a lot of packages. If you couldn't tell, I'm reaching my room, so that's what's going on. Um, anyways, I had a dermatologist appointment today, and they did my facial, and my skin is very, very irritated. If you could not tell, but we are on the road to clear skin, so it's okay. Anyways, today I'm going to be making these little Trader Joe's dumpling things because I'm hungry. Yeah. And then I'm gonna, while I eat them, I'm gonna like rant to you guys about some things, because, yeah. And anyways, everyone was saying that I didn't come with receipts, so I got my receipts. You know, I had to scroll up through those text messages and find them, you know? Ugh, my skin is so irritated. Please do not judge me, okay? I'm a teenage girl going through hormonal acne stages. But anyways, let's go get these dumplings. Chef Danny. Okay, here they are. So anyways, me and Mason went to Trader Joe's to get these, but he's at the gym, and I'm gonna eat them now, so whatever we're going on our first plane together tomorrow and i'm very excited i know you guys want to hear the drama part don't worry i'll get there okay so it says to put it in for 145 seconds okay so we just cut a corner of the bag i just took like a little corner off so i'm gonna put them in there for one minute and 40 seconds There we are. So anyways, when these are made, I'm gonna come back to you guys. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna talk to you guys now. Basically, I wanted to make a video because I've been getting so much hate and it's been making me really sad. And as you can tell, my freaking acne looks terrible because I'm just like overly sad. And like, I have a really bad like way of showing my emotions. Like I just, I don't know why, but I just like act like I don't give a fuck. Like, the person in me just like doesn't show emotion and I like let it all bury inside me so then I'm just like emotionally just like dead, you know? Anyone else? But yeah, I'm getting a lot of hate because someone posted a video and it makes me so mad because no one really believes me. But I'm telling the truth, like I said, I've said it a bunch of times, everyone kind of, when they leave my life, they do this. And it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, I think it's just it's something easy for them to do. And, you know, the person who's saying all these things, they are like known to be a really bad person. So it's like weird to me that someone would even believe them over me, like I'm not, like there's no need for me to lie about this. Like, especially the things that they're saying, like, oh, what about my mom abusing me, blah, blah, blah. If my mom was abusing me, I would leave. It's that simple, guys. It's literally that simple. But all of that, and it's just like, I'm just tired of getting hate. I know like what the video says, like if those things were true, like I would definitely deserve the hate, but they're not true at all. One second. Oh my God. Ah, it's hot. Yeah, those are most definitely gonna need to cool for like a while, but we'll let them cool. And now I'm gonna go talk to you guys because I'm already gonna rant. Okay, so anyways, like I said, they like said in this video that I'm not actually pan and I like say it. Um, I think they, sorry, my hair is wet. I just got out of the shower. They said that I like say that I'm pan and I'm not really pan and I say it for like followers or something. Mm, I would never do that. That is just something that I would never do, especially because I'm very, very, even before I had came out, I was very supportive of LGBTQ community. community. Sorry, I can't speak. I was very supportive of it. I still am to this day. Um, and I'm actually part of it now. I came out as part of it and I would never want anyone to really say that I wasn't, you know, in it because that's very disrespectful because I am. And a lot of people were commenting. They were like, well, you know, like you are like pan, but you're not like pan means that you like everyone. Like it can be a trans, it can be anyone. I know what pan means. It means literally all genders, trans, a guy, a girl, literally everything. And I know that, and that is, Personally, the way I feel, I do feel like I genuinely do not care what gender you consider yourself or what gender you are. I don't care as long as I like your personality and you, I mean, I f with you on that level. Like, 
we're a couple, you know? Like, that's the definition of pan. I don't know why people keep saying that I'm not pan. They were also saying that I wouldn't date someone who's bi. The words never came out of my mouth. Also, there's no proof of that. So, people are kind of believing them, but there's no proof, so... Like I said, I don't really care. You have no proof of that. And I will stand with the fact that I never said that. Why would I say that for one? Oh yeah, you can't be bi if I'm dating you, but I can be pan. Like what? Make it make sense. This person claimed a lot of stuff about me, that they were uncomfortable with being at my house, my house was messy, um, they didn't want to be around me and my mom, blah, blah, blah. Here are some text messages. I'm going to read them to you guys. And I have the dates in there too, so you guys can see the dates. But this is actually, I'm going to start it from the beginning. So this is a text. So I texted him and I said, okay, real question. Do I come or no? This is when I was going to fly to Nashville to surprise Mason. He said, yes, come. I was like, oh, okay. So in his video, he claims that he didn't want me to come, which is not the case because as you guys can see right here, I asked him and this was July 15th on Thursday at 11.34 a.m. So you guys can see that obviously I'm not lying about the time. Like he was the one who's like, I, of course, yeah, I wanted to come and I asked him, I was like, oh, like, should I come real question? And he said, yes, come, come. So obviously he was not weirded out by the way I was because he wouldn't have been telling me to come to his Nashville house. Then me texting him how I'm going to surprise him. I said, so he can't know. He said, cute, question mark, LOL, what were you thinking? I said, like, I'll fly, maybe just waiting on his room with the lights off and then he can turn them on and he will see me or something. We can think of something. And he said, yeah, that's cute. Oh, yay, low key excited so I can show you around Nashville. If you hated me so much and you were so disgusted by all of these things that I was doing, especially if you are gay yourself and you are in the LGBT community, why would you be responding to someone that is against them and doesn't want to date someone if they're bi and is lying about being pansexual? Why would you be so excited to see me? Does that make any sense? If I was doing all this fucked up shit and you were so offended, why were you so excited to see me? Why didn't you cut me off? And then I said, no, I can't just because I have school. I'm going to just come for the weekend, then see you guys when you get to LA. And he said, okay, yeah, I don't know if we are going straight to LA or what yet, but hopefully Ariva tells me soon. And that was just them talking about moving to LA. And then I was asking, well, yeah, what's going on with Ariva? And he said, because they don't want to buy a place in LA, I don't think. I said, what about outside of LA, like Laguna or something? And he said, I don't even know if I want to work with them, but we don't have many options. I don't know. They don't get it. And, I, and then he said, hopefully, but I don't know how, but I don't know, you know how Bob is, which is one of the guys who worked with Ariva. I said, you guys are going to spend so much money always having to come to LA for things because they were looking at houses outside of LA. And I was like, you know, you guys are just going to have to do a lot of money. He claims that my house was very dirty and he hated being here and that I begged him to be here. But he asked me to kick out my brother's best friend, Keegan, who lives with us, and for him to move in. He said, I know, kick out Keegan and me and Mason can share a room and Bryce and Sip can share a room in your house, LOL, JK, JK. He wasn't joking. But if my house was so dirty and you hated me so much, why are you asking to move into my house? That makes no sense whatsoever. Then we have this. This was in Nashville when I had gotten in that really big fight with him and I kind of ended things with him. I said, I'm not working with you anymore, blah, blah. Like it, it was just a weird situation. I texted him and I said, I'm just annoyed right now, so I'm gonna go. I'll be close, so maybe I'll come before I leave. Like me and you are fine, but I just don't wanna be here. It's too overwhelming. I didn't wanna have bad blood with him, but I didn't wanna cut ties and that's why I said what I said. He came back with, yeah, we good. I know, it's a lot for me too, not to mention the construction, which he was having construction done in his house. Like I said, this is Sunday, July 18th. He said, I can text you when we are headed back home and we can have a movie night or something. I love you, just trying to protect you. I wanna see you be the best you can be. Sorry if that came out harsh or anything. I love Jen too, just know I'm always here for you. Didn't you say my mom was abusing me and she was doing all this up shit to me, but you love her? That's not what you said in the video, but you were texting me that you loved her. Hmm? Then. The next day, he said, good morning, babe. Are you coming over today? What's your plan? I want to talk to you and figure out shit. I've got a call with Netflix about your show on Wednesday. We've got the tour in September. You've got that brand deal to film on Thursday, etc. I'm going to text your mom in a little too. I want to talk to her. Maybe just apologizing for yesterday because I didn't mean anything to be taken the wrong way. He was very, very worried when I left. And I think that had to do with the fact that if he did lose me, he was going to lose a lot of his brand deals just because, you know, they were wanting to work with me. And if he didn't have access to me anymore, what were they going to do? He also wanted to talk to my mom, make sure him and my mom were good. Why? If you didn't like my mom, why? 
And then you can just tell he was really trying to get me to come over that day. And I didn't because I didn't want to be around him. I told you, I said me and you are good, but I'm going to cut ties. And that's how I cut my ties. He's very, very mad that I cut my ties. And he's very, very mad that Mason cut his ties with him too. Then we have what I texted him. This was on July 21st. I said, hi, I wanted to text you and let you know I'm not gonna be able to attend your tour. It's just something I'm not interested in right now. I stopped sharing my location with him. And I said that because I didn't want to go on the Juice Crate tour with him. I didn't want to surround myself with him. I had realized some things that I just weren't comfortable with and I distanced myself. He said, I totally get it. If that's what you want, are you sure? I can go ahead and take you off the website if that's what you'd like. I just shot you a text with your mom too in the group chat about several brand deals. We should chat probably via FaceTime at some point today. Just need to discuss a few details. And I said, yeah, I want to be taken off. He said, I'll work on that today. What about everything else business related? I did not respond. So at this point, he was still texting my mom. This was the last time I had spoken to him until everything started going on. And he, you know, started saying all this stuff about me online. So this kind of proves my fact that he had no issues with me until I got completely away from him. And it doesn't make sense to me because I don't necessarily know what he's doing. I don't know if he's just trying to get revenge and like cancel me because he lost some brand deals or something. I don't know. Me and Michael never had bad blood. He was never ever trying to get me away from my mom. He was never not trying to be around me. He was never disgusted by me and thought I was crazy. He never thought any of that because these text messages prove right there me and him had a very close relationship and we were together all the time. So there you go. There's my receipts. I don't think I needed to show those, but I'm just tired of getting hate for things that I didn't do because me and this guy had a misunderstanding situation so now he's coming and saying all these really messed up things about me i think people forget that i'm a teenage girl and that these things really do affect me i'm growing up i'm getting mature and i'm going through freaking teenage girl like hormones every day you know and i have people commenting saying that i'm a liar about being pan which really upsets me because like i said it was very hard to come out pan and the fact that now that i finally did that and now one guy is spreading a lie when he has no proof of that everyone's believing him if you are truly a supporter of me then why are you believing someone else i am sitting here right now telling you that everything i am saying is the truth that's it everything i say is the truth right now the accusations he's saying about mason and me i don't know where that's really coming from it's not my place to really talk about you guys heard mason's side of the story i'm not gonna talk for mason i told you guys how we both felt about that i think this guy has had a lot of stuff on the internet about him and i think that he's known to be a bad person and usually people hate on him because when i first started working with him you know i had everyone telling me not to work with him i had tana even freaking posting danny get away from him his dr phil episode came out where literally everyone was bashing him but because it's me people are taking it differently because this guy is already known to be so shady and such a liar but because he posted something about me danielle Cohn, who everyone just doesn't trust for some reason they want to take it differently and I'm just tired of it. I didn't make this video to respond to his part three. I just came to show you guys this. As you can see, I literally am just sitting here like making dumb things. Like I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna talk about it, you know? And now I'm gonna try these. We're gonna see if they're good. Huh? Those are fire, but yeah. I'm just over it. I'm not really gonna talk about it again because there's no need for me to. I don't wanna waste my energy. I don't wanna waste my teenage years worried about him. I have bigger things that I wanna do with my life. I don't wanna waste it worrying about other people. There's one thing though. He did talk about something in there that really upset me. He talked about my abortion. I thought that was very, very disrespectful. As I told you guys, we were very close. So get very, very sad about that situation. And there was times when I would cry to him about it because I was so hurt about it still to this day and I'm not completely over it. And the fact that he put it in the video and talked about that and then brought up that I try to act like the victim for that. I'm not a victim at all with that situation because I really did f up and I, you know, I got pregnant. And like I said, I'm all for women's rights, your body, your choice. I'm not gonna get into that, but I will never once say that I'm a victim because I did that to myself. So that was very disrespectful for him to say, especially considering the fact that he literally watched me freaking cry. Sorry, that's my alarm. That he watched me literally cry in my bedroom about that a lot. I'm just over it. I just don't want to freaking be hated on things that I literally didn't do. And this is all just a freaking little petty argument that someone took to social media and made it into some big ass thing. It's just not worth it. That's basically all, to be honest. That's like all I want to talk to you guys about. These are really good though. These are making me happy.
I mean, I'm gonna go through my Snapchat really quick. And I'm gonna show you guys. I literally have videos of us all at my house. Like, fine. We're like, literally all hanging out. Like, just to prove to you that, like, there was ever no issues until I cut ties with him. And then when I cut ties, he started, like, claiming all my music and stuff. And, like, saying it was his. And I was like, what? That's not your music. That is other managers' music. Like, look. This is literally... I don't know if you guys can see. I'm trying to, like, show you guys. It. It's a lizard. <laughs> I'm not eating it. <laughs> How? I, food. Michael. Is it human I, food? Yes. yes. Everyone should vouch for it. How did he get it that quick? How did he get yeah. not human food? No, I'm scared. Michael. Hurry up. I'm trying to record this. It's food. Go what is it? Open I'm just open your mouth. It's food. Is it sugar bear hair? No. Open your mouth. I'm going to throw it oh. It's a soap. I literally puke. It's a food. It's a gummy. I can Take buy it. it at a store. It's, okay. Open. What kind of store? Wawa? Wawa? Is it old? No. No, no. I just oh, Hurry up! Oh, the video's gonna run out! Oh, oh, oh. Guys, the video's running out. Hurry up. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, it is. Get it out. <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> I can't taste that. Chew! Asia! Hey, <gasps> what are you doing? That just proves that like we were all fine. Also Hannah, the girl that came in on the video and said that, oh yeah, that's true what Danny said. If I said that in front of you guys, why the hell were you hanging out with me like that? Cause I know if my friend some sh said some shit like that, I would get the hell away from them. But no, cause it's not true, obviously. I showed you guys my receipts, that's all. The other things, I mean, I don't really have receipts for because they're all just like him saying the shit that everyone else says about me. So I don't really care. You guys can believe me, you can believe me not. One thing is, how old is he? Why is he even wasting his time on me? Like, don't you have better things to do with yourself? Ah. This is so good. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I got a pal. Because I have a trip tomorrow morning. But thank you for watching. To all my supporters, I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me through everything. My haters, to be honest, whatever. Love you too. Okay, bye.